I'm gonna try to be chimps, but with an AI picking my monkey. So with that, let's start up this program and it should start us up. Oh my goodness, we got a good start, finally. All right, so we still have full control over its targeting and its upgrades, but we don't get to pick what monkeys we place or where. Now, I used a naive Bayes algorithm for this, which is just a fancy way of me saying that I gave a program 100 locations in the green area that are all good spots for monkeys, 300 locations in the red area that are all bad spots for monkeys, and there was some overlap in the purple, so there were some yeses and some noes here. From this info, the AI can guess if I would approve of new spots or reject them. So, every time I ask for a new monkey, a random spot gets generated. Then, the AI either approves of the spot and places the monkey, or it rejects it and asks for a new one. This process continues until it gets a spot that the AI thinks I would like. And to get around trying to place monkeys where they can't be placed, we have the auto nudge mod on, which snaps the mouse to the nearest open placement for whatever monkey we want. Well, that solves our lead issue, I guess, for now. I would have made it like a 0-1-3, but it's so far back, I don't really think that's an option. But, I mean, worst case, we make it like a 2 one zero and it pops leads for us if we don't get something like an alchemist or a sniper down before that see what else we can get dartling okay dartling's expensive so i'll just keep the mouse there that is nice we can do a lot with the dartling uh so that's where it would have placed it beautiful what's i don't know what i want i just can't guarantee that we'll get him an alchemist or a mib is the issue so i would love to make a balloon exclusion zone but i just don't know if he'll just be useless for ddts another ninja okay well it looks like we're just gonna have to get corrosive glue that guy can become a sabotage i guess please give me quincy monkey ace you hate to see that can't move my mouse there we go all right i've given up on um trying to get quincy down I thought it should be by now, but I guess I don't know my own AI. It has learned more than me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna commit to double shot. Try not to lose with this, with this insane start. So, leads, I think I am just gonna get this guy. Put him on strong, guaranteed to get, uh, to pop the leads now. After this round, hopefully we can get Quincy. I am. Let's go. Thank goodness. Nothing like around 27 Quincy placement, am I right? Dang, off that one round hit level three. Jeez. Did you really think you could get away with watching a 10 minute video without a sponsorship? This video is sponsored by HalloweenCostumes.com. I've been using them for years now and can't recommend them more. I've been the Big Lebowski, Shark Boy, Miles Morales, and now I'm deciding between a Dart Monkey and Tamatoa from Moana. And if you already have a costume, they have amazing seasonal sweaters like this Deadpool one or this Scooby Doo one that glows in the dark. This Penguin one got me free drinks all night on New Year's Eve, and this Star Wars one almost got me banned from a club. So just click the link in the description or pinned comment to let them know that I sent you. Do we want to get this guy up? Maybe a zero, two, three, or do I just get a Packle? Because if we can't give them um, lead popping power, it's, it looks like it's going to be pretty hard. Maybe we just get a Packle and then like a, uh, a 520 Sky Shredder. Seems fine, right? For now, I guess we can just save up, get you. Now we will actually be useful. We're going to get Laser Shock. Rocket Storm is also good. We'll really help out in like 63, but I think the Packle is just the the easy way to go although we had a really weird start the monkeys we were given not that bad we're obviously in the glue gang with our glue gunner would have liked to not get this one so early but it's nice to know that we'll have a sabotage for the late game not gonna get laser cannon i think i'll just save straight up for balloon jitsu maybe to guarantee round 40 we can just make this guy a four or a three two zero now you know Get a little extra lead popping power with those pineapples. Now it can help out with camos as well. Now everything can see camos except for our glue gunner. So unfortunately, Quincy won't be able to help with DDTs unless we get an alchemist or a village on him. And I can't guarantee that that will happen. Are we going to get an ODS by 40? We will. That's actually very nice. Um, Sure, use the ability. Why not? Guarantee that we beat the round. All right, let's see what we get. I'm just gonna lock you for now. Spike factory. Oh, we can actually, 
that's a good spot i think i'm gonna go perma spike and uh make it a 205 although not at the very back that's solid i mean we could oh i'm a genius also really dumb we can make this guy a 250 dang now i could have gone with the bottom path dang almost instant regret i swear if we don't get an alchemist or a village i'm gonna be so sad but uh hopefully we can still win without him if we don't get him all right 11 twelve thousand dollars let's just turn auto start on i think we'll be good nice go glue gunner that glue gunner is surprisingly useful i wasn't ecstatic about its placement but it's turned out pretty nice all right this plasma accelerator is going to be a huge increase in power now our only real weakness is purples but we have an ods operation dart storm quincy and a balloon jitsu to take those out now the plasma accelerator is a mid-game monster that'll carry us until super ceramics start coming on round 81. luckily this should be enough time to save up for a sky shredder but boy would i love to have a mib to let our packle pop purples and so we could have crossed path our ace with sharper darts 10 grand and we have our sky shredder unfortunately it is a 520 because who would want who would want a 501 that would be silly imagine buffing your sky shredder couldn't couldn't be me definitely gonna want to use arrow storm on round 76 now i'm gonna stall this round because i would love to have that back up for 78 and i feel like i normally do i'm just gonna guarantee it you know that was actually very nice spreading them out we'll wait a little bit make sure that we have our level 10 up for next round nice bam and then should I, oh i feel like i'm gonna regret locking that but it's also kind of nice you know all right we'll unlock it i'll just hands off the mouse do i want another monkey i'll tell you what for now we'll just get a down draft a zero three two and by we'll see i mean yeah we're gonna get another monkey a druid what a mistake why did i get another monkey we'll get another monkey a wizard We could get a Prince of Darkness. Do I want a Prince of Darkness? That's the real question. We could also just get a Summon Phoenix. And it's kind of past its time. All right. Do we want a Prince of Darkness or do we want Perma Spike? Probably Perma Spike. Just because we already have put so much money into it. We're basically there. And we don't really need the camera detection because everything, all our important towers already have that. Though the pod would clean up the ceramics so nicely. Oh well. If only we could get an engineer for like an overclock. That would be lovely. Overclock our sky shredder dare i place one more no i will wait all we need thirty-two thousand four hundred. feel like we make plenty of money in the next like five rounds to where that shouldn't be an issue i'm also having to micro the packle quite a bit oh we'll probably get it this round no mm hmm hey we did oh okay prince of darkness kind of goaded so i think that is what we will get i'll place down one more monkey just to be safe you know glue gunner another another one all right so yeah we're gonna get a prince do we even get that much money i guess there's only one way to find out i could very easily just look it up see how much money we make in the next few rounds that's a lot of that's a lot of super ceramics if 91 is tough i'm not looking forward to 98 that's for sure also the nice thing about our necromancer is that he might shimmer some ddt's so our glue gunners can help out hopefully we have enough single target damage for the bad if we even make it there don't really want them plowing through dang our necromancer is popping off right now the round that i assumed i would have a sabotage ninja for yes i could still get it but it looks like we're not going to for whatever reason quincy can't really help because he's not elk buffed doesn't have a mib don't need him though Run 95, notoriously easy. Ooh, should I just pivot and get our glue storm? Nah, I like the pod too much. Plus the balloons are kind of just doing work as a necromancer, not even a prince. Oh, imagine once it gets that title upgrade. All right, so we get it after this round. Just fine, because this round, piece of cake. All right, once we see a bunch of mobs lumped, then we can use Storm of arrows. I'm seeing them, but I know the arrows will go on the ceramics. There we go. That's nice. Use the ability. Can't even see how big our spike pile is anymore. 
Hopefully it's massive. We got our glue strike. It's no glue storm, but we can strike them. Okay, pop in the bad. DDTs, nice. The ZMGs, I think we got this. I think we got this in the bag. Uh-oh, our prince is running out. Let's uh, strike. Let's go, baby. We beat chimps with an AI placing our monkeys. Now we have about seven grand left over. So let's just see if we would have ever gotten a village. We would have got a buccaneer, then a dartling, then a tack shooter. Okay, I'm pretty glad we stopped when we did. We're just never, this thing loves dartling guys. We're just never gonna get an alchemist. And then, okay, last one. Oh, it's that easy. We only needed like 10 more monkeys and we would have gotten elk. Well, there you go, boys. We beat chimps with an AI placing our monkeys. Not bad at all.